In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the disable buttons for the Notifier NFS3030 uh, Onyx Series Fire Alarm Panel. Let's see, uh, I'm going to fry here. Notifier by Honeywell. And I believe the CPU is a 3030D. Yeah, so it's CPU 2 3030D. Uh, but this one's pretty typical with the NFS 3030. <clears throat> uh, so currently we have a trouble on the panel. Uh, we're just going to disregard this because uh, this is part of our normal testing. So you'll see on here trouble 001. And we're just going to ignore that. And then the, uh, the other trouble, the FCPS number 10 trouble, we're just going to ignore those. So the other one and the trouble we're going to ignore. As of right now we have fire alarms. Set zero, supervisories zero, pre alarm zero, security zero, trouble one, and other one. So, right beneath us, we have the, uh, the disable buttons as well as the uh, paging system. It's the, I believe it's the DVC digital voice command. Uh, ARP, fuck, I forget the name, it's really long. But uh, digital voice command system for the paging unit. Uh, so, this guy right here. Every panel has their own long super name for stuff. Um, so you have the corresponding stuff for the paging system, but we're ignoring all these right now. We're just going to stay to this right side right here. So we have, from top to bottom, here are buttons. We have AV disable, so that's audio visual for horns and strobes. Elevator disable, FSD disable, HVAC disable, DH is for door holder disable, crack disable, and roll up door disable. They wrote diable, not disable. Interesting. Different company, not me. Anyway, <clears throat> we're gonna just show how to uh, use the disable button. So it's pretty simple. Uh, so pay attention to the trouble and others right here. Typically when you disable, you'll get something under trouble or other. Um, I've seen it kind of on both, but this one's gonna come under other. So we're at, again, 001 for both before we disable anything. And again, we have existing troubles. This is unrelated to what we're doing in this video. It's just for our normal system testing. So we're gonna go top to bottom. We're gonna hit these buttons. So I'm gonna hit start with AV disable first. So I'm gonna zoom out enough, there you go. So we get our trouble. It's saying uh, disable in progress. And we have two now. So let's hit that acknowledge. Let's block acknowledge. So now we have other two. All right, so we went up by one. And if we hit the other button right here, you'll see it will have that FPS trouble and it'll say logic zone number one. So the logic zone is this disable button right here. So now we're gonna do just the rest of them, just to do them all. So we're gonna go down, we're gonna go elevator disable, we get troubles. FSD disable, we get troubles. HVAC disable, we get troubles. And you see these lights coming up as they uh, populate. So it's letting us know which ones are disabled block acknowledge. So, so far we got one, two, three, four of these buttons disabled. And now it's given us 30 of these other uh, other uh, signals. So still one trouble and 30 of the other signals. So now if we go the last three, door holder disable, crack disable, and then the roll up door diable. I'm gonna say it like how it's written. Roll up door diable supposed to be disabled. So now we have our acknowledged. So now we're at 41 others and one trouble. So now if we go to our side buttons again, from top to bottom we got acknowledged, signal silence, system reset, drill, fire alarms, security, supervisory, trouble, and other event. So this other event, I'm just gonna hit this button and I'm gonna scroll through what these events are that we see on the panel. If I zoom in, there we go. So we have FCBS 10 trouble. We have primary recall. That's our elevator. Alternate recall. Fire hat. Solar elevator disables. We have FSD mech. So these are our FSDs disables. So all these disables basically. UPS room, FSD. So those are all FSD disables. And I'm just like, again, I'm scrolling through on the, uh, the other uh, signal right here. And you can just see, uh, sorry, my phone is struggling to uh, focus. And you can just see all our disables. I don't need to go through everyone, but you get the point. So again, there's 
Originally there was one other uh, signal, so I have 40 technically that I disabled. The extra one is just because I had that trouble in the panel. But now we have all of our disable points. So no audibles will go off because I have the AV disabled. The elevator won't recall because I have that disabled. None of the fire smoke dampers will close because I have that disabled. The HVAC system will not shut down because I have that disabled. None of the door holders will drop because I have that disabled. None of the crack units will drop or turn off because I have that disabled. And the roll door will not uh, fall uh, because I have that disabled. So I can go through my system now and test everything without anything, uh, alarms or signals or anything going off. Um, everything will still report to the panel, it's just none of these uh, switches here will activate anything. So now, let's say you're at the end of the day and you want to re-enable everything, you would reset your panel, make sure everything's clear of alarms, and then you just go through the reverse process and you just enable everything. So I'm going to show you what, what it does on the panel. I'm just going to go through this real quick. So I'm just going to hit them all one time. So one, 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 one. It's going to take a second. You see they're still lit up. But if you look on the panel, it says enabling in progress and has a percentage counter. So all those points now that you disabled, it's going to enable. So you just got to wait for it. Let it count up. It's going through. It's going through. And you see the, the points are slowly clearing. You see the lights on them. And then once we get back to the uh, main screen here, we'll see we're back to our normal screen. So we have our fire and super alarm supervisory zeros, uh, pre-alarm security zeros, and I still have that trouble one and other one. Again, that's for the existing troubles that are on the panel for our inspection. So my camera's not focusing, there we go. There we go. See, we get bonus troubles while I'm testing. So that is how you use the disable buttons. You see we're back to being fully enabled. None of these are flashing anymore. And all my others have cleared, my other signals. And that is how you, you use the disable buttons for the NFS 3030 fire alarm panel. Again, this is the Notifier um, in the Onyx series fire alarm panel.